Hello. So, it's a new month. It's May. We had some balance changes a little while ago. We've had some time to mess around with them. And so I wanted to do an update for my 1v1 Arabia tier list. As per my idea last time, you can see that we have the same tier list. Or we're starting with the tier list, my last one that I, I posted. And we're just going to move stuff around a little bit based on uh, well, balance changes, any meta developments or whatever. And this hopefully shouldn't be too long of a video, but it will be a nice little, uh, I guess maybe like guide on, on what the meta is right now for 1v1 Arabia. So, uh, I'm not going to talk much about, uh, most of the civs, especially ones that didn't get any changes, but I'll still go through the, uh, through the list and see if we shouldn't be moving some stuff around. So first... Looking at Aztecs, nothing changed about them. They're still great. Chinese, still great. Although I will say that if you are watching BOA Arabia, because that's what a lot of uh, experts are playing in preparation for, well, BOA, even if that's mostly team games, Chinese are a lot worse on it because it's a lot harder to wall. It's like the the relative strength of Chinese is so like dependent on uh, how easily wallable your map is or like... Not even necessarily wallable, wallable, but just like uh, defendable from early aggression. Uh, but other, but as far as like ranked goes, it's it's essentially the same. Persians, oh boy, got hit with a nerf hammer. Uh, no longer have the plus five percent in Dark Age. We're gonna probably have to drop you down to C tier. Yeah, that's a huge, 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 huge nerf. Uh, I'll, I'll come back to it and see if my mind changes, but that's where I'm thinking preemptively. Mayans, Huns, Malians, all the same. Uh, Britain's the same. Khmer... Losing Bombard Cannons is huge. Um, as well as having a slower farm rate. Just let's just drop them to the bottom of A tier. It's nowhere near as big a nerf as Persians, but definitely a noticeable nerf. Uh, Slavs the Boyar is now stronger it's, and a much more viable option. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's a little bit slower moving, but it the extra armor is definitely worth it. Uh, Franks the same, Incas the same, Celts, Tatars, Mongols, Japanese, Vikings. That's all the same. So, yeah, I'll go back to the civs I moved at the end. Uh, Cumans should be the same. Ethiopians. Uh, they did get a small buff in that their uh, torsion engine heavy scorpions are now better, which is great and is, you know, situationally useful in Arabia, I guess. But uh, that's going to be much more commonly a factor in team games or, uh, say, arena or... Black Forest or whatever. Um, so I don't think I need to worry too much about that. Magyars, Byzantines, the same. Bulgarians actually, I think, got a little bit better. Let's just move them up a tad. Let's just put them right there for now. Because losing Paladin but gaining access to Stirrup uh, Cavalier is a buff for 1v1 Arabia, because you're so rarely ever going to go for Paladin. And it's so much more feasible to have uh, Stirrups Cavalier, which are really, 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 really good. Um, and that's just on top of all the other things Bulgarians have going for them uh, and options and stuff. So let's just move them up a little bit for now. Magyars, Byzantines, Vietnamese. I feel like I might have even underrated Vietnamese. So... Hmm. Honestly, I might even put them above Ethiopians right now. The eco bonus is, is actually, like, pretty nice. And they have a pretty good tech tree besides. And I think compared to Ethiopians, they have a better stable. They have a better unique unit. They have imp skirms. The biggest thing they're lacking is they're not as strong in early feudal age. Like, their men-at-arms rush isn't as good. 
Um, their archers are better in some situations, worse in others. Depends on what you're fighting. But I'd say that Vietnamese and Ethiopians are pretty similar right now. Uh, in team games especially, like uh, for like a flank civ in a team game, it's like Britons, Mayans, maybe Chinese, and then uh, these two are four and five in my opinion. Anyway, where were we? Lithuanians! Latus are now a lot better. They're cheaper and faster to produce. And tower shields got buffed, so their trash is insane late game. I think that does put them above Byzantines because they have a stronger start. And a more versatile, unique unit. Putting them over Magyars... They're pretty similar in what they have going for them. Lithuanians have better monks, Magyars have better uh, archers, both have pretty crappy siege. It's like Magyar Hussars... I think I'll put them here for now. I mean, like, these are very small changes, and like I said uh, many times in the past, the exact placements within the tiers for each of the sieves isn't that important. Like, you know, say, if I put Lithuanians, the, the difference is small enough that, like, if I put Lithuanians here, or if I put them here, it's not, like, the biggest of deals, but it's. I just want to, I guess, uh, talk about how I think, how much I think these uh, balance changes impact the Civ for 1v1 Arabia. Indians got nerfed, but that doesn't matter for Arabia. Berbers unchanged, Spanish unchanged. Saracens, Burmese, oh, Malay, sorry, right to the bottom of the, the <laughs> right to the bottom. Uh, they are broken right now, as in their age up bonus doesn't work. You have to research uh, 166% to get to the next stage. So I think it's even slightly slower than most other Civs. So you know, that they, you know, research to the feudal age at a faster rate, or, you know, whatever age, castle age, imperial age, they research there at a faster rate, but because you have to reach 166% as opposed to 100%, it is, in effect, uh, not a bonus, and maybe maybe even a slight detriment. Um, so without that, obviously, Malay are, are nothing, they're potato. Um, Italians, uh, unchanged for land, Koreans... Portuguese Teutons. Got some hefty buffs. How much does that matter on Open Arabia? You can still go for slow pushes on Arabia. It's just not as easy. But I read that, and their eco is really good. I think I'll put them right there. And then uh, Goths got a buff, having free loom. I think that's actually enough to put them up into C tier. Maybe even above Portuguese. Above Koreans. Maybe. Italians. Yeah. Burmese. I mm, think, think Goths are going to be just fine right there. And Turks are unchanged. So let's see how things are shaping up. We've essentially removed Persians from being an S-tier Civ, so now we're I'm, I'm pretty comfortable with this five. Slavs being a little bit better. Everyone else seems to be in more or less an okay spot. Khmer... So I guess like if you compare... Khmer to Vikings. Both have, you know, what is effectively farming bonus. Um, Vikings have better archers, what with having thumb ring and all. Uh, and their eco is, I'd still say, a little bit better. Berserks are way better than Ballista Elephants, but Khmer obviously have otherwise good cavalry. Compared to, like, Japanese... Mongols... Yeah, I think I'm going to put them 
here, around the same level as Vikings. Yeah, Vietnamese, they didn't get any change. I just think that people are now really starting to appreciate, myself included, uh, how nice that eco bonus is. I think they're, they're a much stronger Civ than uh, myself and others gave them uh, credit for. Uh, that said, they're not like tippy tippy top tier, I would say. Well. Compare them to Vikings. Whether they're like uh, archer centric Civ. Viking Eco's stronger, but not like amazingly so. And Vietnamese have a broader tech tree. Are Vietnamese A tier? Honestly, they might be. I feel like I really underrated Vietnamese. They're pretty good. I'm actually going to put them right above Japanese. I don't think they're as good as Mongols. Although Rattan archers are pretty good against Mangudai. Mangudai are still a better unit. Why is it like one hair follicle always like falling down? Looking goofy. Um... Yeah, it, it's pretty close. Like, Vietnamese are going to be a solid pick for Arabia. Do I drop Khmer to B tier? No, I think they're around the same level as Vikings. Uh, each have their, you know, advantages over the other. Cumans still, I think, would be, like, the top of B tier. Like, missing Bracer is really annoying. But still, that eco is insane. Ethiopia... Ethiopians, Bulgarians, Lithuanians. Yeah, I'd say like all these civs are around the same. I'd place Indians, Berbers, Spanish a little bit lower. Persians, top of C tier. How do I feel about that? Yeah, if like, I'm just thinking like, if I get Persians versus Spanish... I'm wanting Spanish. I'm getting Persians versus Berbers. I'm wanting Berbers. Indians, definitely wanting Indians. And then Byzantines, definitely wanting Byzantines. Do I like Persians over Saracens? <sighs> yeah, I think so. Persians over Teutons. I think that's a decent matchup for Teutons, but I think Persians are still overall a better sieve. Having, well, yeah, trash bows are pretty great to have still. So, yeah, I'm thinking that looks pretty solid. So there's definitely some noticeable changes. Malay, they're down here now, but that's because of a bug, not a balance change. Um, and then when I make this video next month... You know, we'll, Malay will likely jump back up to, uh, you know, C tier or whatever. Other than that, you can see that we're going more and more towards the middle, which is great. Fewer sieves in S tier. And I think that... I don't really think Huns need a nerf, nor Malians. Slight nerf maybe to Eldorado, nerf to Chinese, nerf to Aztecs are probably all warranted. But civs like Huns and Malians are just always going to be good on Arabia, just because that's where their uh, their strengths lie. From, you know, Dark Age to Castle Age. Slavs are pretty good. But, like, yeah. I'm pretty happy with this list, yeah. Let me, definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this little update. Just, you know, a little bit of moving around here and there. But like I said, as we get more and more balance changes, we do ultimately, like, work to a more balanced game, which is awesome. So yeah, uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I will see you guys next time.